Yo, what's going on everybody? I wanted to react to people shaving off their dreadlocks. So the reason I wanted to do this, I saw someone who's pretty big on YouTube with dreadlocks and I was just on their channel and looks like they cut the dreads. So I'm actually gonna be starting today's reaction off with that video. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe if you guys are new because we're dropping a whole bunch of hair content. For all of you who don't know, I actually used to have dreadlocks. I combed them out. I have the whole process in a playlist and it's just a really cool journey to see me go from dreadlocks to no dreadlocks. And I had them for four years, exactly, and a couple days. So not exactly. I wanted to mention that I actually just launched a website. You guys can go check it out. The link is in the description, has all these products I'm about to mention. And this is the first website I've launched on hair products. Now these are all the hair products that I enjoy, that I've tried and worked out for me. And it's worked out for many other people. And I know a lot of you wanted dreadlocks like mine or wondered how I got mine. So I'm gonna give you guys everything you need to know. And you can find all of these listed on the website. If you go to greatlocks.com and actually go to the dreadlock products page, you can literally shop on there. And so I'm super excited to actually be launching this website hopefully you guys go to support it and i plan on doing a whole bunch but like i said all the information is on a video that's linked down below so go check that out you guys give this video a thumbs up comment down below how long you've had your dreadlocks or if you plan on getting dreadlocks and let's get straight into the video so many of you guys do know this is low rock on youtube and he had his dreadlocks for three years and this dude has some really dope freeform dreadlocks so right now he's just going through the whole process of when he started his dreadlocks to the point to where he actually went to the barber shop to get his hair cut. I'm gonna skip to when he's actually getting his hair cut. All right, so here's the first dread right here. Now I can tell from my personal experience from getting rid of my dreadlocks, I can't imagine the feeling of actually cutting them because there's so much that goes into actually cutting your dreads. But I mean, he looks happy, he looks excited. There's actually a video of him, and it was shown in this video, of him saying he's gonna cut his dreads before he graduates high school. And I mean, that's what he did. You can see he has that bleach spot from when he bleached one of his dreadlocks. I mean, I guess I can't imagine. I got rid of my dreadlocks after four years, but cutting them, like three years of progression, three years of all this work. And I mean, not really, he freeformed, so he didn't put a whole bunch of, there's the last dreadlock right there, but he didn't put a whole bunch of maintenance into his hair, which, like, if I were to get dreadlocks again, all of you guys would know that if I were to get them again, I would do the free foam route, just because one, that's my favorite type of dreadlocks, and two, I think they look really cool, and you don't have to do much to them. All you gotta do is wake up and go about your business, and you have dreadlocks along the process. He's going really low. I know for me, if I were to cut my dreadlocks when I had them, I would not go all the way low. At least I don't know if I would. I think I would go short for a little bit and then if I wanted to go lower, but sheesh. You could just tell he was ready for his dreadlocks to be gone and I, I completely understand that. I'm gonna skip to the end and see what the haircut looks like and then we'll hop into some other videos. All right, y'all, that's a pretty clean cut, not gonna lie. It looks a whole lot better once you got the taper in there and then he has a design on there too, which is dope. And <laughs> yeah, he's just super stoked. He has a bag of dreadlocks. When I was... <laughs> Watching this video, I'm like, dude, I need to go throw away my my old dreadlocks or the hair that I had for my dreads. I need to toss that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Does he look better with dreadlocks or not dreadlocks? I feel like anybody, like if you start YouTube with dreadlocks, everyone's gonna say, yo, you look better with dreadlocks. Oh, Mr. Dreadlocks. Everyone does that, so it's really dope seeing him cut his dreads. But right here we have some really long dreadlocks. It's a full head of dreads, and it looks like he's had them for, I would say close to 10 years, maybe over 10 years, but let's take a look at it. Oh, so he's just going on with the clippers, taking them off with that. Like, I feel like with him, he might have started out with like twisting the gel and did like the, just the, I would say the old fashioned route of getting dreadlocks where everyone was just doing it the same way it seemed like, I mean, in my mind. I thought everyone had to get dreadlocks with twisting gel. And back then people were using a bunch of like beeswax and nobody uses that anymore, I hope not. But it looks like he did his dreadlocks the old fashioned or the traditional route. And I feel like with dreadlocks like this, just because they're not, I would say, not saying that to him, they're not unique to him, but they're not very unique or different than a lot of people's dreadlocks that have like freeform dreads or dreadlocks that they use a different method to get them like sponge rub or towel rub. Like these ones, they look very traditional. And when you cut them, it's a transformation of course, because he had super long dreadlocks. But at the same time, it's almost like when they get to a certain length and I can speak from my personal experience of when I had my dreads, once they got really long, it's to the point to where like, what am I gonna do with these anymore? 
especially if I'm just doing it for the fashion of it. Like I didn't have any other reason besides the way they look, but I really like the way they look. And then once they got to a certain length, I was just kind of done with them. But this dude looked like he had over 200 dreadlocks on his head. And that's a lot of dreadlocks to take care of. And I'm sure like at one point he's just like, dude, I'm done with these. Either paying someone to take care of them or myself taking care of them. That's a lot of work. And one thing you always notice with people that come out their dreads, myself included, and people that cut their dreadlocks, is like you see a whole bunch of lint that is revealed while cutting them or after cutting them. You can see that there's lint and buildup at the base of his roots where he's cutting it off. And that's because the dreadlocks are being exposed from the center and all that stuff is coming out. And that's that's completely normal. It happens with everyone's dreadlocks. You're never gonna be able to completely keep out all the lint and build up from your dreadlocks. It's just impossible. But I'm gonna skip forward and see the fade that he does on them and see the transformation. So he went really short. It looks like he's about to get waves or something like that eventually. And it looks like he's just gonna be doing a taper all around. I'm gonna see what it looks like at the very end. All right guys, so he's just wrapping up the look right now and it looks like a huge transformation and it looks really good, not gonna lie. And one thing I always say with people that comb out their dreadlocks or they cut their dreadlocks, I'm sure it's so refreshing. Just speaking from my experience and watching other people's videos, it's super refreshing after not even just dreadlocks, but having a hairstyle for so long and then you eventually get rid of it and you're like, oh, I get to try so many different things. Feels so good. But let me say, I still love dreadlocks. I like supporting people with dreadlocks and promoting them on, you know, I have great locks and everything like that. And I still love the way dreadlocks look. I look back at mine and sometimes I do miss them, but it's just so refreshing to be able to do new things. And this is the transformation you see before and then after. Dang, that's clean. Looks really good. See, that's a huge transformation. Like, it just really turns you into someone else. I mean, haircuts in general do, but that's pretty clean. What do you guys think? Comment down below what you guys thought about that haircut. Here's another one from the same guy, and he does have more of a straighter curl pattern. So let's take a look at this one. So this dude has some really interesting dreads. Like I said, he does have more of a straighter curl pattern, and his hair is probably a 3A, maybe a 2C. Looks like he did some interlocking on his dreads, so that's really cool. And one thing you'll always notice about people with dreadlocks that cut them is when they're getting them cut, like their hair looks like they neglected it for so long. And it's just that point to where they're, I feel like going back and forth like, man, should I keep them? Should I cut them? I'm not really gonna do anything anymore because I plan on cutting them. And yeah, I've never seen someone cut their dreads that look super maintained. The roots are all twisted, but it's always the people that just neglected them for a while. And yeah, you can just tell. But his dreadlocks are really interesting. I like the way they look. I like when dreadlocks look like clubs, like they're thicker at the tip than at the root. And it's not always good because if your dreadlocks are thinning, then that could be a problem and your dreadlocks could fall out. But his looked really healthy and really good. And what this guy did was actually really smart. He kept some length to his hair. He's got about two to three inches right there. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what he does with this hair. Yeah, so his hair is really straight but he's got really thick hair, so it looks good. And it's really good to see that his hairline is preserved. Um, he doesn't have a whole bunch of thinning on top of his head, which you see people that have their dreads for five to 10 years, sometimes over 10 years, and then they cut them, and then their hair is like super thin. The pattern is really weird, which obviously the pattern is gonna be weird um, at first. Oh, this guy's about to get waves. This is gonna look clean. But it's always cool to see guys like this that have cut their dreads and their hair still really thick, still very full, and it's just really awesome. One thing that about my dreads is when I combed them out, my hair was still very thick and very full, which I'm very happy that it was because I don't like doing no thin hair. But when it does come to those points to where your hair is thin after cutting it, or you know, if you had braids or anything like that and your hair seems thinner, it's always gonna come back, especially if you're younger. Like, we ain't gonna get into if you're actually going bald. So I'm really excited to see what his hair looks like at the end. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. All right, so he did a high top fade. This is looking super clean. One thing I like about really thick black hair is that, man, the fade looks super clean on this guy. And these waves are gonna be nice too because they're gonna be big and they're gonna dip. And these are the things that get me. Sometimes I see people with waves who have really nice ones and I'm just like, dang, maybe I'm next, I don't know. Comment down below, should I get waves now or later? <laughs> but this haircut is looking super clean already. I'm gonna fast forward to after the lineup and see what it looks like. He's giving him that razor sharp cut, man. So looking at his hair shorter, you can see that his hair is actually pretty straight. It is on more of the wavy side, but you would consider him a straight hair waver, or even when he had dreadlocks, you would consider him a straight hair dreadlocker. And I'm telling you the truth, like once, give this guy a few months and his waves are gonna look clean. And that's the transformation right there. 
Not gonna lie, like that looks better on him. But you know, it is all personal preference, of course, but I think that looked really clean. But you guys, it was really cool looking at people cutting their hair, especially because these are new people that just recently cut their dreadlocks like Lil Rock. I think it's really cool, especially when YouTubers do it, that they've almost built their channel on a certain hairstyle or a certain subject, and they're able to actually turn it around or turn it into something else. So shout out to everyone who was in this video. Comment down below which one you liked better, which one was the best transformation, and what do you like better, waves or dreadlocks? I wanna hear your guys' comments down below. But other than that, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.